Welcome to Gord Field in Detroit Rock, Michigan. Nice town, isn't it, Ricks? Well, by nice, you mean a town that would welcome you by cold cocking in the head with a vacuum cleaner and stealing your luggage in the middle of a motel check-in and throwing you off the bridge into a polluted lake while enjoying your morning walk to the stadium? Then yes, Grim, very nice town. Couldn't be lovelier. Both teams hit the field ready to hit each other in this MFL matchup. The Philadelphia Eagles go up against the Motor City Maniacs. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hope you got your mutant tailgate buzz on. I know I did. The teams are revving up on the sidelines, and we are ready for some mutant football. Grim Blitzer along with Bricks and Bricks Jr. Yeah, Grim, I had a little eye open at myself at the mutant bloodmobile park next to the taco truck outside. Called the lobotomy shot. Raccoon rabies blood and red bull crap. Hoo-hoo. Yeah, I can tell your mouth looks like a hot shaving cream dispenser. And it's first and ten. Second down and five. Third down and eight. This is your brain, and this is your brain on berserker drugs. Boom! And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey I almost got that mutant bingo. All I need is 77 to buy it. Yo, man, nobody can touch you an eyeball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? First and ten. Oh man, he just got skewered by those spikes. That was bloody and disgusting. Hey, anyone in the mood for a steak kebab? Make mine rare. Second down, the size of Bricks Wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. And that's a first down. Looks like they're just going to pound it up the middle all night, Bricks. I call that the honeymoon offense. I'm not going to touch that one. That's what she said. And he runs it for four yards. Second down and six. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done. Line up for the extra point. Straight through the uprights. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. Thunderclap dirty trick. Man, that's 
gonna hurt. Don't make the hair on your corpse stand straight up. And that'll bring up second and one. He was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. Bring up third down and in inches. See that move, baby? I'm the greatest. No, you didn't see that. Too fast. <laughs> Don't do anything stupid here. Just pump the damn ball and play defense. Should move him back nicely. And he's got a chance for a good return here. Oh, and that one's gonna hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. And it's first and ten. A pickup of about three on that play. Second down and seven. And the ball razors through the defense, cutting a defender in half. That means they can wrap up the other half and save it for later. Touchdown! And he rumbled that one into the end zone. Nicely done. I can't run like that unless it's coupon night. Punching his cheeks, though. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. And it's first and ten. Starting to click now. A pickup of eight on the play. Second down and two. He hit that line the way a Republican congressman hits the airport men's room. Good and hard. First down. And it's first and ten. for nine on that play. And that'll bring up second and one. Pow! With the brain scrambler! First and ten. Kaboom! And the corner to oh, and did he just put on a display there? Touchdown! Try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. And this game is up for grabs.
and see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. Oh, he just got crushed. sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is superb, Grim. That cross pitching, unbelievable. He's got the ball now and is going to try and score. One time when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the line. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. First and ten. If he had getting killed, the thirty. The twenty. He's at the ten. It's a touchdown. Since when is that a penalty? Since now, I guess, Grim. <laughs> and this is a first and And they've had enough. The offense jumps off sides and attacks the ref. First down in a mile. Oh, Mama, he just knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! Oh, what a punishing hit that was! And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. And it's first and ten. for a first down. And it's first and ten. He 
right, kids, do you remember getting shoved in a locker because you wore glasses? I do. Join the MFL and try Roid Rage and have your revenge. He scores! They need to call an attack ref dirty trick and stop this or they're going to lose. Not like they need any help with that, though, ref. These guys are doing fine by themselves. <laughs> They're back up here on first, and the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. <laughs> first down and forever. Ball hits the field incomplete. He threw it when no one could catch it. Some things like that in a quarterback. Second down in a mile. When defensive players go berserk, and the NFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 90.8, the greatest hits of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest hits? Where? Chunks of yards with pinpoint passing. Well, here comes the punting unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. And we're at the two-minute warning. Well, they couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. Fired punt will give the opposing team great field position. They just let that one drop and play it safe, and the defense says we'll take it. And it's first and ten. The ground game should be their bread and butter. A gain of eight right there. Hey, anyone seen that Korean kid yet with my barbecue? Last time. I ordered Korean, I got Kim Jong Il. Man, oh man, he hit that line the way your wife hits the all you can eat buffet of crab apple trees, Bricks. Ah, uh, you're telling me. She ate 47 Salisbury steaks one time. Thought she had food poisoning. Turns out her low intestines just exploded. No, that's a relief because there's nothing worse than food poisoning. Oh, uh, you're telling me. Man, nobody can touch me when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about, pal? And they take their first time out. Uh, how predictable. Surprise us next time. Call the time out during halftime. Second down and long. He had nowhere to go and got nothing out of it. The quarterback is controlling the clock right now like the clock is into it. He just clock blocked the clock. Third down and, well, good luck. And that was a huge run right there. Hey, speaking of huge runs, Rex, why don't you put a cork in that gravy mix? Smart move there as they call a timeout trying to get the ball back for another shot. And they'll line up for the punt here. And he got it off. That's a decent punt. And he's got a chance for a good return here. Pow! With the brain scrambler. And it's first and ten. for a first down to keep the drive alive. And that's the end of the second quarter. 
Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the Halftime Show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Frankenfood you'll have fun trying to identify. Well, the third quarter coming up. Bricks, this game has been a hot mess so far. Yeah, kind of like the morning after eating hot chicken wings. It's a hot mess on the exit ramp, if you know what I mean. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. position in football, the mighty punter. And he put all of his foot into that one. And he snags the punt and looks for open field. Right above him, snags. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. Oh, it's a punishing hit. Second down and nine. a grab for five yards. Second down and five. Oh, great play! He is on that receiver like glue. You know, when I was little, my dad used to make me eat glue. My tongue would get stuck to the roof of my mouth, and I couldn't talk. Your father was a very smart man, Bricks. Very smart. And 
It's first and ten. That defense didn't give an inch. No gain on that play. Second down and ten. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. And it's first and ten. Football. First down. And it's first and ten. That, my friends, was an all pro NFL hit. First and ten. That's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. First down and seven. It's three yards on that run. Oh, that was totally uncalled for. And that's why we love the MFL. And that'll be second down and four. And he zips that one in there for a touchdown. Second down, and offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. Second down, and ain't gonna happen, partner. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double-stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. First and ten. to make this one interesting. 
Third down and the punter is warming up. And the defense just knocked the wind out of that quarterback. Sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. And he booted a high arcing rainbow. Nice catch, and he turns on the afterburners. Punt returners in this league have a lot. Oh, man, he just laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're going to hit a guy that hard, you should at least kill him. Do him a favor. Finish him. And it's first and ten. Dirty trick. Well, and the offense has only two running backs left, and the defense is licking their lips. Uh, I think they want to hit those last two runners for this win. And it's first and ten. Sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Graham. here or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room it's good here comes the kickoff let's see if the defense can hold them and that's a returnable ball returnable you mean he can get a refund for it no no bricks it means he can return it for you know what never mind First and ten. Void break. Because if you can't answer your question, but this guy's going to get mugged in the locker room by his team after the game. Second down and ten. First down. He was not going to drop that one. They need to make him a target more often. First and ten. And the quarterback drills one in for the first down. First down and six. And 
And that's the way to get the sticks moving. He picks up five on that play. And that'll bring up second and one. We're at the two-minute mark in the second half. And that'll bring up second and one. And he rumbles into the end zone for the score. I hope he's not going to dance now. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. The kick is good. Well, as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Well, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. with the brutal hit. And it's first and ten. You know this berserk dirty trick ain't there. Oh man, I love this dirty trick. The quarterback got listen. And the NFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8. The greatest hits of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest hits? Well. First and ten. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. The defense calls a timeout to stop the clock. They have two left. Second down and six. Head. And the D takes their second time out, hoping for a miracle. I witnessed a miracle once. A player was brought back from the dead. That's not a miracle, partner. That's just how the MFL works. Man, he's running like a bull on steroids. That'll be a first down. And defense calls its final time out. Good. I gotta run to the John. That means I gotta deal with that grubby little bathroom attendant again. Always pushing his life savers, dirty comb, hairspray, cheap cologne on me. Hey, I'm here to take a crap. Not get ready for a day. Well, and that's a great nine yard completion there. Hey, it ain't great if you don't score or move the chains. And that'll bring up second and one. Ground game is starting to soften up the defense. First down. First down and six. And he laterals the ball. And he runs into the end zone for a touchdown. Why go for one when you could go for two? It's always been my philosophy. A prince can't even. And he runs it in for an easy two points. The momentum in this game may be shifting. Come on, those are just my balls. Hey, thanks for sharing, Prince. <laughs> they need a good return here to set up the offense. They're going to be able to return this one. <laughs> Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? And so the Motor City Maniacs get their asses handed to them here at home. You can smell the Molotov cocktails in the air. Oh, that's my rubber foot again. And all this space here, please. They battled hard, but still got their butts handed to them. Gross. I hope there weren't any orc butts involved. I 
kind of like our butts, especially with some Bichon mustard and a smoked pickle relish. Not bad slipping. Let's go down to the field and see what the game's MVP thinks of today's outcome. <laughs> Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Microhard Corporation. They get it right every up.